the evil genius in our subconscious mind. Let's talk about learned helplessness today. I want to tell you a short story about how learned helplessness can hold us back from being more, having more, and doing more. I will talk about learned helplessness in a bit, but back to my story. Once upon a time, a man was walking through the circus with his son when they noticed something very interesting. In the elephant area, all the elephants were secured with a tiny rope. I mean, this rope was tied around one of their foot. The rope was so tiny that all the elephants had to do was just move that foot with some effort and they would break free. These are elephants that weigh anywhere from 2,000 kg to 6,000 kg. Let's put their weight in perspective. That's like 40 to 120 bags of cement or rice. They were huge elephants. Why then did they not attempt to break free? Was it jazz? So the father and son went ahead to look for the elephant master trainer. I mean, the guy has to disclose the source of his powers, right? The jazz man that he was using. And the trainer told them something very profound. When the elephants are very young and much smaller, they use these same ropes, these same tiny ropes, to tie them up. And at that age, the rope is strong enough to hold them down. So initially, these elephants, these young elephants, they try to break free, but they quickly learn that they are powerless to do so. So eventually, they believe it is impossible to break free, and they grow older with this same belief. So they never bother to break free again, even though now they are bigger and it's possible without much effort. I think there's an important lesson we can all learn from this story. What the elephants are experiencing is called learned helplessness. Learned helplessness occurs after a person has experienced a painful, a stressful situation repeatedly that they come to believe that they are unable to control or change the situation. So they do not bother to try, even when opportunities for change becomes available. Are you experiencing this in your life at the moment? <laughs> Did you, for example, repeatedly fail math in secondary school and now believe that you can never enjoy the subject? Let's look at your finances. Have you been experiencing financial difficulty for a very long time that you now think or believe that you're not destined for wealth? Or have you had your heart broken by so many scallywags over these years that you now believe that no one can love you or value you. What is that learned helplessness or limiting belief that is preventing you from living a fulfilled and a happy life? Well, this is the first time I'm hearing the term, but I'm very familiar with the pattern because I think it explains a lot of uh, voter apathy you know, in Nigeria, if we put it towards, you know, government and society, people are just like, why go out to vote now? We know it's not real. We know our vote do doesn't count, etc., etc. And yes, that may have been in the case in the past, but it, sh it shouldn't stop us from trying. And that's why it's in this example that I've picked, it's really, really important that we engage the youth because the youth are going to come out full, fully in 2023. So it's for, to catch those ones that are in that state of learned helplessness, to say, hey, look at the other half of your youth. They're already on it. They're, they're really on it already. But they need you. Your time is worth it. Your vote is worth it. If you want change, if you, if you want to get out of this helplessness, all you need to do is take off that rope and walk. You know, so I think it's a great, it's a great point and it's a great analogy and I've just never heard the term before. <laughs> Thank you. Thank it's you, wonderful. Tony. You know, I said on this show before that man as bad is a tabula rasa. And the, <laughs> mind, the, the, mind, the, mind, the mind is so elastic, so elastic that it can go to any length to which you can stretch it. Sure. Because humans are the, it's, are, it's, it's, 
humans on earth are earth's great treasure now let me tell you something that's this story i also had let me talk about my own animal story mm -hmm. horse was stuck in the mud and then the owner tried to pull it out several he couldn't after all said and done he thought about something let me bring all that was around it to run to move swiftly around the horse and he played the battle song that the horse was used to hearing the war the war drums and suddenly the horse was able to jump out of and heading towards the war front but since that's how the mind works you know when you are just used to oh it's like this it has always been oh let's do my father could not do it so why can i how can i achieve it nobody in my family was able to achieve it uh, maybe me too i won't be able to achieve i can't get there that's where you'll be stuck but the mind is so elastic and it works like a software so you put the right applications in your your mental computers and work you can break free break free so victor so the way you are a life coach the way to break patterns mm -hmm. right is to create a similar pattern mm -hmm. so i remember somewhere in the bible where jacob you know um jacob and laban's story mm -hmm. and it was almost looking like he cheated laban because those um, um goats that were brown spotted were producing mm -hmm. brown spotted what he did was just simple he was showing when they were mating he was showing those um the animals branched mm -hmm. potted trees and they mated after what they were seeing mm -hmm. so that means your perception your vision mm -hmm. can override your dna mm -hmm. so in your dna they were supposed to meet after let's say black spotted um, um offsprings mm -hmm. but what they were seeing overrode their dna mm -hmm. so one way to do with the story what you, what we can do is to bring another elephant tied to the same tree a new and elephant make the elephant move sure. once the old one sees that oh boy this guy moved this guy i can, I can move. move so i think Tiny back to what Tony mm -hmm. said, we need to show you sure. that the economy can work. Sure. If you're telling me that if I go out and vote, it's going to count, how? You need to show me something. It has to be very organic and strategic. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's going to be a journey. Okay, you know what? The, the local government is working now. Very soon, the, the next level will work. The next level will work. You can't say that, you know, by 2023, and that's always the mistake. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is going to become better and everything is going to work. No. Let's say a local countries is going to start working and then from there the federal like that so i think we need to start showing young people you know results showing young people a different image mm -hmm. those things that people play out right because what you lock in as a belief system you play out in your behavioral patterns sure. and you get that as a result so we need to call up reframe reprogram mm -hmm. change the image we we change the image we change the outcome and language is really really important in yeah. that there's a it term is. that's currently used in a lot of um tech space mm. edtech fintech all that and it's the unicorn, unicorn. and i really dislike the use <laughs> of that really right. i get why they're saying it but what it then puts in the mind's eye at uh, these are rare that these are, are few and far between. Mm. So it then kind of removes that hope. It's mm. far reaching. Yes, it's far reaching it's because it's a unicorn, it's mm. myth, it's mystical. It's myth, yeah. And what we should be saying is that, yes, this has happened. Let's keep trying, let's keep going. This isn't a unicorn, this is just the beginning. That's mm. the framework issue, it's mm. the beginning. Mm. You know, these are the first ones, there's mm. more to come. Mm. Rather than using terms like unicorn. The so anytime first, I see yeah. that on my feed, I'm just like, oh, stop using this term. I get why you're using it, but it's not really helpful to the nature of what we're trying to do for mm -hmm. this country and what that space is trying to do for this country. So I think um, um, language is really, really important. Okay. And key is, is realizing that if you are have this learned helplessness right that does it equate to hopelessness it doesn't so it's also to kind of realize okay you may feel helpless but are you hopeless mm -hmm. is it that far so i think hopelessness is even worse than mm -hmm. learned helplessness yeah. mm -hmm. uh, just let me just add something just yeah. like in the world of financial trading you know, i must see this when you are trying to grow your equity your accounts you grow up with your strategy. There comes a time that you have drawdowns. The mm -hmm. account is going to fall back mm -hmm. to a certain level. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to rise again. This, the curve is not usually smooth. Mm -hmm. It's always up, drawdowns, mm -hmm. up, drawdowns, leaks, drawdowns. So during that drawdown, it's the job of the trader to maintain a positive mind. Okay, my strategy is going to work. Probabilistically, the edge is in my side. If you think your strategy is not going to work, the moment you try to help yourself, you blow up your account. So that's how it works. If, if evil keeps winning, mm -hmm. I think would be 
so excellently used to allowing evil to thrive. Sure. So I think we should start projecting. When we're talking about Nigeria, you know, start talking about some things that are working. The more we keep talking about yes. things that are not working, yes. and everything yeah, sure. yes. not working. Because that and is we're so all true. Of these things. Oh, we're not, yeah. The country is not working. And we're saying this thing at a very mm -hmm. subconscious so level. Yep. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Once we're saying these things, guess what? The universe speaks those words. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. great for us. Oh, he's, yeah. he's in the metaverse now. We're, we're back to that. We're back to this again. <laughs> mm. So what I've got, to, what I've got, to, what we've got to hear, guys, is that Nigerians, we are, our lives are fraught. Mm. We've learned helplessness mm. in everything. Mm. But there is a solution, and there's a way to break this habit. Mm. It starts by you checking and asking yourself if that statement, that thing, mm. is true. Mm. Mm -hmm. If there is an alternative, if it is possible to break it. And if it is helping you, mm. if that belief is not helping you, you should think of changing it because, like Tonya said, there is hope. After this break, Felix is going to end the show, and we'll be right back.